hi so what you see here is a power bi desktop client so we'll start with creating a basic report with the trends and some visualizations that are available here kpis we will compose a dashboard and uh, we will deploy it we'll deploy it on cloud and we'll see how it can be accessed so we will do a end to end flow so i have an assignment for that so all our course would be driving by assignments so the, our course will be driven by these assignments so the first assignment here is to create a dashboard uh, with the basic set of visualizations and demonstrate end to end flow of uh, power bi uh, so the data set that i will be using for this demonstration is uh, lands transport corp yeah so this is a transportation uh, corporation uh, so we have data the number of loads or the trips that uh, the shipmates this transportation corp has delivered in this year so we have uh, a complete data set of those transactions here we have like trip id shipper who has uh, mailed this the category uh, customer origin city destination city how many days are estimated for this delivery uh, when was this delivered the delivery date total miles how many loaded miles so we have data set like this okay so checkpoints how many checkpoints were covered in the trip so on this data i'll be building analytics let's get the data into power bi desktop so the best way the quickest way is click on this get data and select the common uh, data connector so either you can do this or we have a complete list of data connectors from where we can get the data into power bi uh, so we have file connectors different format files flat files excel files json files different uh, different rdbms Oracle SQL Server, MySQL, Teradata, cloud platforms, SaaS applications. So we have different uh, different uh, data sources. We can get data from an on feed on a website, R scripts, big data. So we can get data into Spotify from different uh, sources. So right now I'll be selecting Excel. I'll select this lands transportation corp data file so now data gets loaded into the application so this is a navigator here we will see the list of uh, sheets that are available in this excel file so there's only one sheet we can see a preview of the data inside that sheet so what kind of data we have so we get a clear preview here then we can select if that is the intended data load so the data will be embedded into this power bi desktop okay we can see the data here in the data panel so this is the data it was brought into the system so i'll start with building analytics so here to begin with what i'll do i will create a trend so i'll quickly get a bar chart and on this on this bar chart so you see all the properties of this uh, visualizations can be seen in this panel so we have properties to set the data fields we have properties to apply the color formattings and we have analytical lines so we'll cover all of this okay uh, so what i'll do i will get uh, revenue 
total revenue revenue versus uh, city the city from where i am getting the orders so this i will put on x axis so this is a revenue trend from various cities see how convenient it is to arrange a, a visualization on this canvas so you can easily quickly uh, very simply you can drag and drop the visualization anywhere on the open canvas you can adjust the size according to the real estate consumption and do the settings here so i have this uh, revenue revenue by origin city uh, we have different features here uh, like legend color saturations will get there now we'll do some formatting so here see everything is uh, option here so you can have an access uh, selector you can turn off a future you can turn off turn on or turn off future very conveniently you can set data labels you can do all formatting here so we'll do what i'll quickly go and change the title so title so this is the title that we see here so we'll change the title revenue by origin city some color formatting and alignment yeah okay so now i have a title here uh, data colors so i can um, change the default default color of this data bus leave it to the original data coloring scheme or i can actually go and individually change the data color of each bar you see when i click this data colors and i say show all I get all the categories that are there on this visualization. I can go and individually change each bar color. So that is possible. Very advanced future. So now we have this. I'll do what I'll along with uh, uh, revenue. I'll also see miles, loaded miles. How many miles were uh, shipped in this city? So I have two values here. So two values. Now this becomes what? This becomes a stack bar. Stack bar with the uh, same colors. Okay. So stack bar now is sh showing same colors. Actually, if you select, you can see that particular one. You can change the color scheme here. Okay. But now that's not how I want to see. I don't want to see it as a stack bar. So this is a stack bar. Okay. I'll clearly discuss the difference between a stacked bar and a side by side bar. So now I'll see this as a combination plot. A combination plot and loaded miles, I'll take it as lines. Okay. As a line. So one, one measure as a line and other measure as bars. This is a trend I got now. So go to access and we'll do data labels, plot area. In data colors, we can set this loaded miles, change the color to a contrast and show all. And we'll enable data labels. Now when we are doing this data labels, let's put the data in some format. Thousands. Thousands would be Yes, okay. So you can decide on how you want to show. You want to show as millions. Million may not be the comfortable scale. Let's put it in thousands. Yeah, we can change the scales also like this. So everything is uh, configurable on your visualization so this is my uh, combination chart i got bars and i got line on same visualization so this is used for uh, uh, showing correlation between multiple measures 
this is one way of representation we can actually show uh, with bars either as stacked or side by side I choose this presentation now that we are here so I'll show you the other two ways also in which we can sh put, put, show this so I have created this visualization right if I want to change this visualization it's very simple you click on the visualization and click on any uh, other visualization type you can see as the visualization is getting changed isn't it yeah so this is the beauty of this uh, software so you can uh, dynamically change the visualization type now I, I am pressing ctrl C ctrl C and I am clicking on the open canvas I am putting ctrl V so we just duplicated this visualization now this visualization I will show it as a stacked bar so this is this is called a stacked bar so we have two measures being stacked under a single bar yeah so this this is this view is called stacked bar the other other way of showing this bars is side by side so like this so instead of stacking them on one above the other we will show them one beside the other so this these are called side by side bars and these are called stack bars now both have uh, vertical representation or horizontal representation okay so now this stacked bar can be shown in another way 100% stack so if you click on this visualization so now you see you see the height of all the visualization uh, all the bars as same but actually the portion the proportion in which the bar is segmented will vary okay so each size will be taken as 100 percent i'll convert this into regular stack bar so this is regular stack bar this is 100 percent stack bar so each bar uh, will be taken as an 100 percent and uh, the proportion will be calculated for each segment and shown there so that's 100 percent stack so the height of all the bars will be same okay fine so that's what this first line is all so we have uh, stack bar side by side then 100 percent stack bar both in vertical and horizontal formats so let's flip this back to combination chart so this combination chart is when you're doing two measures we can show them one in bars and the other in lines okay so now we'll put some kpis click outside the visualization get a kpi so here uh, in this kpi what i'll do i'll put total revenue fields and this would be sum yeah sum 9 million okay so this is my total revenue maybe it's not uh, meaningful here so what i'll do i will uh, turn off that category label i'll turn off that category label and i'll put a title title as total revenue we'll do some coloring coloring here font color let's leave it background color okay there you go so we have uh, Yeah, so this is a KPI. This is total revenue. Similarly, we'll build a couple of other KPIs. Total revenue. Total 
uh, on this i'll get total miles total miles will show total miles in thousands okay then total uh, loaded miles so loaded miles is like uh, uh, out of this total miles how many miles will it so in total miles what happens when a truck moves from warehouse to the pickup point so it is not essentially carrying anything right so th those are dead miles those are empty miles and after the delivery again truck goes back to the warehouse so again those are uh, de uh, those are empty miles so if you remove empty miles from total miles you will get loaded miles let's change the titles accordingly total miles loaded miles okay then the next thing i'll do is i'll put a geo dashboard so see how simple it is so i have destination city i want to see all the trips that were made in destination city so i'll get destination city here on the canvas you can see automatically a, gra a, a map visualization is laid out here so this is because it, it has ability to understand the input data Spar, uh, this power bi has ability to understand the uh, data that we are supplying to a visualization uh, and can decide the type of visualization that will best fit the data uh, so now uh, on this i will do size size by number of trips number of deliveries made in each so I'll put size trip ID and I will do count yeah so this is already count so I can clearly see there are some states where I'm doing more uh, deliveries and there are states where it is where uh, the deliveries are less so this is trip ID trips by trips by destination city by destination city okay so we have map visualization here now we have uh, trip type here so if you get a uh, descriptive column like trip type so it will by default give a table visualization so this is a table visualization so by trip type so we have different trips like domestic trips intercom uh, within a factory international trip so if i see uh, the intensity of trips so so this is so we the total 2000 trips so here we have a uh, count of trips per trip type so since that i added a cal numeric measure it gave automatically a total if i would have added categories so then this is a data table so this is data table representation okay uh, so now let, let's not see in this way we will convert this into donut 
chart okay so now we have here a chart donut chart so this is number of trips by trip type say total trips by trip type very quickly we can change all this options here okay so let's do some more on top of this let's put a KPI KPI where it will show just number of trips total number of trips yeah this count I want I want where I want inside that donut chart total trips this let's put it inside this yeah. and uh, send it backwards yeah you see so we have the number of trips and then uh, There is a donut outside it, uh, splitting number of trips by trip type. Okay. Let's do some other interesting trip. So we will do what? We will do percentage of trips, percentage of trips made in each each state yeah each state uh, this time we will not see by map we have already map for state so we get uh, trips trip id total trips and we'll pull destination state okay so these are the number of trips made to each state we can see IL Illinois has the highest number of trips okay so we will we will flip this into a percentage chart a funnel funnel so this funnel what does it do is it works as a percentile uh, so it will take the top uh, category and consider that as hundred percent and it will calculate percentage of the next bars based on that bar so now this is 100 so next best is 62 percent of trips here 49 percent so the least is 12 percent and which is to ia okay so this is this this visualization will calculate auto percentages i like this visualization title so here we will can percentage the beside one is total trips that's by numeric representation so this is percentage of trips by destination state okay and uh, we can actually change the colors also uh, uh, as i showed you already so data colors so there are now limited limited categories right we can change colors very conveniently here so we'll, we'll start with like some bar
yeah so we have multicolored uh, visualization here and yeah, this looks good okay so we have uh, yeah so we're getting there so uh, this is an assignment uh, that was uh, built for this uh, so we have kpis for uh, total cost revenue then we have revenue versus miles by shipping state so we'll finish this by one more kpi so that is uh, gauge control so in gauge control you can show two measures comparatively two aggregated measures comparatively uh, so what i will do here i will get total miles as the maximum value and loaded miles actual miles uh, where we had uh, so these are these are total miles and this is loaded miles let's convert them into uh, readable formats those numbers say thousands and uh, convert that also call out value also into thousands so this is called call out value which you see inside and the uh, target so the target is data label category okay so now what we are showing we are showing loaded miles and total miles you see the gap is very high so means these are all dead miles so the more the gap the less the revenue i mean i'm losing revenue here because without any load i am simply moving vehicles here and there so the less this area the more profits i'll get right so that's one good use case of this gauge control so you can comparatively show two aggregated measures so here we go we built a dashboard with some kpis trends geo dash geo visualizations percentage tax donuts and uh, cage control okay yeah this is perfectly arranged let's name this dashboard as transport dashboard okay yeah I'll save this file save as lands transport corp so that's the organization name so see when you save this file it will save as dot pbix extension so this is power bi file so i can circulate this file now so anybody with power bi power bi desktop so this is a free free client free tool available now so anybody with this power uh, view client can read our file edit modify and uh, publish it okay 